Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and this is iOS 7. Apple just announced the latest version of iOS at its Worldwide Developers Conference today and we are taking a first look at the first beta of this software. Now as you can tell from the lock screen, a lot has changed design wise so I'm just going to take you really quickly through a couple of the major changes and then you have to stay tuned to todaysiphone.com. We'll have a bunch of really in-depth videos showing all of the new features and the new design changes. Um, so this is just a really quick first looks. So as you'll notice right away, I, if I move my phone around, you can actually see the background wallpaper shifting with the movement. Now this has a really cool effect of making almost like a, a depth to it or like a 3D where the clock is sitting up above from the wallpaper. Um, another new feature of the lock screen is that uh, you now have access to the notification center, which is very cool. And you also have a new feature called Control Center. You swipe up from the bottom and you get a bunch of toggles for airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, and a rotation lock. You have brightness controls, music controls. You can turn on a flashlight. Uh, you can also access AirDrop, um, the clock application, the calculator application, and the camera. Now, from the lock screen, you don't actually have to swipe down where it says swipe to lock anymore or slide to lock, you can actually slide anywhere on the screen and it brings you to the brand new iOS home screen. Now the animation obviously was different and you'll see throughout iOS the animations are totally different. Um, the moving wallpaper carries over into the home screen which is very cool and you'll notice if I zoom in a little bit that all of the stock iOS application icons are totally new and revamped, much flatter, much less skeuomorphism. Um, and that's the theme that's going to carry out throughout the rest of the operating system. Now, there are a ton of changes to each and every application. I'm not going to show you all of them now. Uh, I will show you Calendar just because uh, it's a great example of what Apple has done. If you remember Calendar in the previous iOS versions, there was a bunch of fake stitching and leather and paper uh, textures to try to make it look like, you know, a real uh, physical calendar. Uh, Johnny Ive has done away with all of that, and now we have a very sleek, very minimalistic calendar view. You can actually go view it by year, so you can scroll through yearly. You can view it by month or by day. Everything is super quick and super sleek. Um, now I want to show you, if we go into Notification Center here in the home screen, you'll see that you can see the shadows of the colors of the icons coming through and that's because the, uh, transparency is used a lot in iOS 7 to sort of uh, add to that layered effect uh, it's in the control center as well and it's just another really cool design change that Johnny Ive brought to the iOS table. Now speaking of the home screen I want to show you guys the new folders because there's a lot changed. Um, I don't know if you're anything like me on your old iOS devices you had, you know, Games 1, Games 2, Games 3, Entertainment 1, Entertainment 2, and it was really getting cluttered and sort of almost defeating the purpose of folders. Um, that problem is totally solved in iOS 7. So if I go into a folder, I'll go into Games, it zooms in on the folder itself, it doesn't pop open like it used to, it just zooms right in. And if you see these little indicator dots at the bottom, you'll know that you have pages and folders finally, which is a great feature. Now another major change to the UI is multitasking. So if we go into the multitasking menu, you can see that it's totally different. Uh, we have a more of like a card view. So you have the icon of the open application and then a preview of the window up at the top. And to close an application, all you do is swipe up, and it disappears, and it's closed. Siri was also treated to significant changes, both graphically and function-wise. So if we go into the new Siri, lower the brightness. Okay, I made the screen darker. Now, as you can see, the interface of Siri is very, very different. You get these layered views again, and uh, I lowered the brightness with Siri, which is a hardware function that Siri never could do before. Uh, Siri w didn't have access to any of the settings or really couldn't change anything. Now that's totally different. Siri, turn on Bluetooth. Okay, I turned on Bluetooth. Now I just want to highlight a couple more things really quickly. Uh, one of them being the music application because it's totally new. Um, 
the interface is completely different. Uh, first, I want to show you the new playing screen. Uh, so if we go to a song, you can see that Apple has completely revamped the way that the iPod looks. Um, and down here at the bottom, we have a couple new controls, repeat album, create, and shuffle. It's the create one that I want to focus on right now. If you click that from any song that's playing in your uh, music application, you now have the option to make a genius playlist or make a new station from artist or song. What that's referring to is the iRadio, or, I, or iTunes radio as Apple calls it, which is Apple's new streaming radio service. And finally, if we take a look at the new camera application, Apple made a few pretty significant changes here as well. Uh, first, you'll notice that you can now scroll very quickly between uh, video, photo, square, and panoramic. Um, now, if we go back to photo, I just want to show you this little icon down here. Apple added a ton of really cool effects to, I guess, uh, completely render Instagram useless. Apple also added the same effects to the Photos application. Let's see, uh, that one looks good. And we can crop this. Good. Oh, and one other really quick little thing that uh, the guys over at today's iPhone noticed was that the clock application is actually animated and live, keeping time even down to the second. So, that's just a cool little thing. Okay, well that is only the tip of the iceberg with iOS 7. Like I said, there's no time to show you every new feature and design change right now, but if you stay tuned to today's iPhone.com, we're gonna have in-depth videos on everything you could possibly want to know about iOS 7. So that's it with iOS 7 for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or you want to see anything more in-depth, please let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Um, and I'll see you very soon.